Replace the blocks off to the side and let's just come down onto our backs. Oh, I'm not using music today. So if you have music that you like to put on the background, you can more than welcome to do that. You're gonna come down onto your back. <clears throat> Set your feet down on the mat, mat distance apart. Just bring your knees together. And just take your hands and rest them on the body. Close down the eyes. Just taking a moment to ground before we move. So just start to notice your breath. Staying with a full inhale and exhale. Feeling yourself let go and the tension in your jaw, the neck, the shoulders, anywhere on the, else in the body. And then take a nice big breath in and then clear it out. You're going to separate your knees, just take your arms up to the side and then let your knees rock side to side. And then come to center, take your left leg forwards, press your left heel on the ground, right knee into your chest, hands below the knee, and just start to do some circles to the right hip. Going in both directions. Right hand's gonna stay below the knee. Take your knee out to the right side and draw your right knee towards the right shoulder. Then you're gonna pass your knee over to the left hand, cross the leg over top of the body and take your knee over to the left side. We're gonna do that again. So take your knee back into the right hand, knee out to the right side, press your left heel into the floor, pass your knee over to the left hand, cross the knee over and come into a twist. One more time, knee into the right hand, take your knee to the right. And then knee over to the left hand, cross it over. And then bring yourself back to center. Hands behind your right hamstring and send your right leg up towards the ceiling. You're gonna bend your knee, bring your heel in towards your glute and then straighten the leg. Bend your knee, straighten the leg. And one more time, bend. You're gonna straighten the leg. Once you straighten the leg, you can walk your hands up a little bit higher, holding the leg in place, but then adding some movement to the right foot, ankle, toes. And then flex your foot, place your right foot on top of the left thigh for figure four. Interlace the hands around either your left hamstring or around your shin. Just start to draw that left thigh in towards you. Bring both feet down on the mat, hip distance part. You know, lift your hips up, coming to a bridge. And then you can walk your shoulder blades underneath you, interlace the hands and ground the arms. And then release your hands. Take your time, you're gonna roll down for five. Glutes will land last, four, three, two, and then one. Now send your right leg forwards, right heel on the ground. Left knee is gonna come into your chest, hands below the knee, and just do some circles with that left hip. Left hand's gonna stay below the knee. Take your knee up to the left side, drawing your knee towards the left shoulder. And passing your knee over to the right hand now. Cross the leg over top of the body and take your knee over to the right side. And then knee back into your left hand. Take your knee up to the left side. 
the knee into the right hand, cross it over the body, over to the right. And then one more round, knee into the left hand, take it up to the left side. And then knee into the right hand, cross it over. And bring yourself back onto your back, interlace your hands around the hamstring. And then send your left leg up towards the ceiling. Bend your knee, bring your heel in towards the glute. And then straighten the leg, do a couple more like that. Next time you straighten the leg, you're gonna hold it there, add in some movement through the ankle, the toes. And then flex your foot, place your foot on top of the right thigh, figure four. Hands wrap around the right hamstring or around your shin. And as you bring the right leg in towards you, notice if your pelvis is coming off the floor. And if it is, envision like you're pressing the back of the pelvis into the ground. Bring both feet down on the mat, hip distance apart, hands on the floor, frame your hips. Lift the hips up towards the ceiling, walk your shoulder blades underneath you. If it's there, interlace the hands, ground the arms, root your feet down onto the floor. Release the hands, and slowly roll down for five, four, three, two, and then one. Bring your right knee in towards your chest, hands below the knee. Send your left leg forwards, hover your left heel above the ground, and then lift your chest up towards that right thigh. So both shoulder blades will come off the ground. You're gonna take a breath in here, and then as you exhale, switch. Right leg forwards, left knee in. Take a breath in, and then switch. You're gonna continue going side to side, and each time you switch, try to get your chest closer to your thigh. You can continue to use the hands as you are, or you can add a little bit more of a spice to it by reaching your arms forwards. Keep the back of the pelvis on the floor, make sure you're not flaring through your ribs. A few more rounds. And then hug both knees and towards your chest. You're gonna rock and roll a few times up and on the back. Until you bring yourself up, you're gonna swing your legs around, make your way onto your hands and knees coming into the table. Shoulders over top of the wrists, knees underneath the hips, and you're just gonna shift your weight in all different directions, forwards, backwards, circles, figure of eights. You're gonna continue moving, just start to turn your fingers around. So your fingers are gonna face your knees, thumbs face out. Pressing down through all of the fingers. Coming off the hands, give your hands a good shake. Turn your fingers face forwards. You're gonna walk your hands forwards as you bring your forehead down towards the floor as you send your hips back. You can either stay right here or bring your elbows into the ground, hands together in prayer, and then reach your fingers back. Spend a few breaths here, feeling like you're pulling the armpits down towards the mat. Bring your hands to the ground, you're gonna roll forwards as you come through table, and then slowly lower yourself all the way down onto the ground. Tops the feet are gonna press on the mat. Take your feet about mat distance apart. Come onto your fingertips. Your hands are nice and wide, elbows facing up towards the ceiling. You're gonna take an inhale as you start to lift your chest up. Head will come up last. And then as you lower down, you're gonna lead with your left shoulder. Left shoulder forwards, right shoulder back, like you're bringing the left shoulder to the ground. Roll back up through center. Then switch sides, right shoulder forwards, left shoulder back. Bring yourself back up through center. Lower down to the ground, hands beside your lower rib cage. Press yourself up in a table and then child's pose and the hips back. As your hips go back, just sway a little side to side. Walking your hands over to the left side, 
right hand's gonna press on to the left hand and shift your hips over to the right. Breathing into the right side of the body. Changing sides, walk your hands to the right. Left hand on top of the right hand, shift your hips over to the left. Hands come back to center, come forwards in a table. Tuck your toes under, sit on your heels, walk your hands towards your knees, pick your knees up and then take your knees nice and wide. Continue to sway side to side in the hips as you walk your hands further forwards. Now bring your hands closer towards your feet, lift your hips up, walk your feet mat distance apart, coming into a rag doll. Have your knees bent, reach for either elbow. If you're comfortable with it, close down the eyes. Add a sway here, side to side. Releasing the hands down, you're going to walk your hands forwards, come in the downward dog. Walk the legs out in your down dog. By bending one knee, straighten the other, shifting side to side. Then bring your big toes to touch. Lift your heels up, send your hips back. Think about lengthening more through your spine and then take your right leg up towards the ceiling. Bend the top knee, heel to glute, <clears throat> rotate your hips to the right, send your right knee up, but draw those front ribs in. And then looking forwards, you're gonna step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Left knee is gonna come down onto the floor. Shift onto the outer edge of your right foot. Your knee is gonna go out to the right side. And then walk your hands to the left. Now bring your left forearm down onto the floor. Your right hand is gonna to come to the inside of your right thigh. Press your hand into the thighs. You draw the right shoulder back and you're taking your gaze up towards the ceiling. And then continue to press the thigh away. Just drop your right shoulder down. So now you're looking towards the floor. And lifting your chest up, your back heel is going to come in so you can come onto the left hand if you want, or you're going to stay on the forearm and your right hand is going to reach back for that foot. As you bring that heel in, draw the right shoulder back. You can take the gaze up towards the ceiling. Let the foot go. Bring both hands on the floor to the inside of your right foot. Tuck your back toes under and pick up your back knee. Take your right leg up towards the ceiling for three legged dog. Knee is gonna to come to the chest, bring your shoulders over top of the wrists. Step your right foot down in between the hands. Bend your left knee so your left knee is hovering above the floor. Arms gonna come forwards and up. Rib cage stacking over top of the pelvis. Feel like your feet are pulling towards one another. And then runner's lunge, you're gonna sweep your arms back as you straighten the left leg and hover your chest above the right thigh. Bend your left knee to a hover, arms come forwards and up. And then runner's lunge. One more time, bend the back knee, reach your arms up, and then runner's lunge. Reach your fingertips towards the front of your mat. You can also place blocks underneath the hands here if you need. Push off your back foot and bring your left heel in towards your glute. That quad stretch you did on your knee, you're gonna do that here. So your right hand's gonna reach back for your foot. Send the knee up towards the ceiling. Then you're gonna push your foot into the hand so your heel's gonna move away from the glute. Then maybe you start to straighten that bottom leg. You're gonna let go of the top foot, take a big step back, feet are on separate tracks, coming into a high lunge. Both arms are gonna reach forwards and up. Warrior two, open up to the left. Right knee tracking over top of the heel, reverse your warrior, right arm's gonna reach back, left hand is resting gently on the left leg. And then come back into warrior two. Straighten the legs, turn your toes to face the left, skate or lunge into your left leg, send your butt back, root down to your feet and then skater lunge into the right. So you're gonna continue going side to side. You can bring your hands to the floor if you need. Turn to face the front, hands are gonna frame your right foot, turn on the ball of your left foot, push off your back feet or back foot and come to the top of the mat. Feet either hip distance apart or bring your feet together, take a halfway lift to lengthen and then fold into the legs. Coming to stand, 
Both arms are gonna reach up. Hands come together, heart prayer. Both arms reach up. Fold forwards over top of the legs. Halfway lift. Step back, downward dog. Roll forwards in a plank. Shoulders come over top of the wrists. Lower down for five, four, three, two. Come onto your stomach. Untuck the toes. Hands are wide. You're on the fingertips. Elbows face up. Roll it up as you take that inhale. And then slowly roll down as you exhale. Hands come to the ground. Press yourself up. Child's pose. Send the hips back. Sending that breath right into the back of the body. Walk your hands over to the left. Right hand's going to press down on the left hand and shift your hips over to the right. Changing sides, walk your hands to the right. Left hand presses down on the right hand and shift your hips to the left. Bring your hands back to center. Come forwards in a table. Tuck your toes under, you're sitting on the heels. Walk your hands towards your knees, pick your knees up, take the knees out wide, and walk your hands forwards as you fold. Now you can stay right here, you can turn this into a little balance. Your arms are gonna come in front of your shins, your hands would then grab hold of your heels. And as you actively press the knees open, your head is coming down towards the floor. And set the hands down, lift your hips up, back into that ragdoll, walk your feet mat distance apart. <laughs> Take the opposite forearm in front. Add that sway side to side. Releasing the hands down. Walk your hands forwards. Come into downward dog. Just notice how this downward dog feels in the body compared to the first one you came into. You'll feel a little different each time. Big toes come to touch. Left leg's going up towards the ceiling. Bend your top knee, rotate your hips to the left. Step your foot to the outside of your left hand. Right knee comes down on the floor. Walk your hands to the right. You're coming down onto your right forearm. Left hand is coming to the inside of your left leg. So you're on the outer edge of that foot. Press your hand into the thigh. You're gonna lift your chest up towards the ceiling. Nothing changes with that left leg. All you're going to do is drop your left shoulder down and turn your chest towards the floor. Lifting yourself up. Right heel is going to come in. Left hand will reach back for that foot. Bring that heel in as you draw the left shoulder back. You can always come on the right hand or slide one of your blocks underneath the hand. Let it go. Both hands come on the floor inside of your left foot. Tuck your back toes under. Pick up that back knee. Three-legged dog. It's your left leg going up towards the ceiling. Knee comes into the chest as your shoulders come forwards. Step your foot down in between the hands. Right knee is going to hover. Sweep your arms forwards and up. Rib cage over top of pelvis. Drive that left foot into the ground. Runner's lunge. Put power on the right leg as you sweep your arms back. Bend your right knee to a hover, arms come forwards and up, and then runner's lunge. One more time, bend the back knee, reach it up. Come in a runner's lunge. And then reach your fingertips towards the front of your mat or use those blocks. Push off your back foot, right heel's gonna come in towards the glute. Left hand's gonna reach back for your foot. Push your foot into the hand as you send that knee up. And maybe you straighten that bottom leg. As you let go of that top foot, take a big step back. High lunge, arms come forwards and up. Warrior two. Arms up to the side. Lunging that front leg, but try not to forget about your back foot. Reverse it, left arm reaching back. Come back into warrior two. Windmill your hands down to frame your left foot. You're turning the ball of a right foot. Push off that back foot and step to the top of the mat. Take a halfway lift, fold into your legs. 
Come to stand, both arms reach up. Hands together, heart prayer. Arms reach up. Fold forwards into the legs. Take a halfway lift. Step it back, downward dog. Coming forwards in a plank. Chaturanga, baby cobra, or up dog. And then meeting in downward dog. Bring your awareness to your breath. Pull yourself back into right here, right now. Looking forward, you're gonna bend your knees. Hop or step, make your way to the top of the mat. Take a halfway lift, fold into the legs. Coming to stand, both arms reach up. Hands come together, heart prayer. Feet are either gonna be together or hip distance part. Keep your hands in prayer, bend your knees, chair, send your bum back and down. Front ribs in, support through your core. Try not to tuck your pelvis under, keep your pelvis in a neutral position. Then you can leave the hands there, you can reach your arms forwards or lift your arms up so that your biceps are framing the ears. Can you get a little bit lower in the hips? And then fold forwards over top of the legs. Take a halfway lift, step or flow back, downward dog or your vinyasa of choice. Meet in downward dog. And take your right leg up towards the ceiling. Knee comes into the chest as you bring the shoulders over top of the wrist. Step your foot down beside your right thumb. High lunge, arms come forwards and up. Then hands come down to the floor. It is your choice. Add in what you want, take out what you want. Vinyasa. And we'll do the second side, left leg up, knee to the chest, shoulders forward, step down beside your left thumb, high lunge, arm sweep forwards and up, and then hands come to the ground, vinyasa. <clears throat> You're gonna walk your hands back towards your feet. Pick your heels up. Bend your knees, come to sit on the heels as you take the knees out wide. You can do what we did before, fold into the shape. You can reach for your ankles or heels, or your hands are gonna come into the ground. Pick your butt up, get your knees high up on the arms, lean forwards, an option to come into a crow arm balance. So maybe you squeeze one heel in, maybe you bring both heels in. Most importantly, don't hold the breath, use it. And bring your feet down onto the ground. Lift your hips up. Fold over top of the legs and then walk your hands forwards and come to downward dog. Whew. All right. Big toe stretch. Take your right leg up towards the ceiling. Bend the top knee, rotate your hips to the right. Step your right foot to the outside of the right leg. This time you can keep your knee up or set it down. Walk your hands to the left. You're coming onto the outer edge of the right foot, knee to the right, and you're lowering down onto your left forearm. Right hand to the inside of your right thigh. Press the thigh away as you lift your chest up. And then drop your right shoulder down. If your knee is up, set your knee down. Left heel's gonna come in. Right hand's gonna reach back for that foot. Maybe it feels a little nicer than the first time you came into it. And as you come out of that, both hands come on the floor inside of the right foot. Tuck your back toes under, pick up your back knee. Keeping the shoulders forwards, right knee is gonna stay on the arm. Just squeeze your right heel in towards the glute. You can either hold here or choose to add in a push up. Three legged dog, right leg up. Step forwards in between the hands. Your left knee is gonna hover above the floor. Bring your arms forwards and up. Just one round of this. Runner's lunge, reach your arms back, put power on that left leg. This time you're gonna lean forwards and fly your left leg up for a warrior three.
Then hands are going to come down to the ground. You can do what we did before by bringing the heel in, reach your back for the foot for um, prep for standing splits, or you can try your standing splits. Right forearm is going to wrap around the calf, and as you fold your chest into the standing leg, you're going to straighten your left leg, sending your toes up towards the ceiling. Take a big step back, high lunge, both arms are going to reach forwards and up. Open up to the left for warrior two. Reverse your warrior, right arm's gonna reach back. Windmill your hands down onto the ground, framing your right foot, turn the ball of your left foot. Push off your back foot, bring your feet together at the top of the mat. Take a halfway lift, fold into the legs. Bend your knees, lower the hips down, bring your hands together in chair. Take a big breath in, create some space. As you exhale, you're gonna twist to the right. Take your left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. Draw the right shoulder back. And then just take a moment and look at your knees. Notice that that left knee is really going forwards. Pull that left knee back, trying to keep that pelvis in a neutral position. And then rotate the chest a little bit more to the right without losing that engagement of the legs. Hug the inner thighs together. Come back to the breath, especially if the mind is all over the place. Hips are gonna stay low, bring your arms forwards and up, chair, and then fold into the legs. Halfway lift, downward dog or your vinyasa. Hmm. All right, we have a second side. <laughs> bring your big toes to touch. Left leg's going up to the ceiling, bend the top knee, rotate your hips to the left. You're stepping to the outside of your left hand. You have that choice to keep the knee up or set it down. Come on the outer edge of your left foot, take the knee to the left, walk your hands over to the right. Then come down onto your right forearm. Left hand is coming to the inside of the left thigh. Draw the shoulder back, lift the chest up. Then drop the left shoulder down, looking down towards the floor. If your knee is up, set your knee down. Right heel is going to come in. Left hand is going to reach back for your foot. As you let go of the leg, both hands come on the floor inside of your left foot. Tuck your back toes under, pick up your back knee. Left knee as high up on the arm as you can. You're going to leave that knee there as you squeeze the heel in. Hold there or bend the elbows, come into a push up. Three legged dog, left leg up. Step forwards in between the hands. Right knee is gonna hover above the floor. Drive that left foot in the ground, turn on that left hamstring. Then arms are gonna come forwards and up. Runner's lunge, hover your chest, reach your arms back. Lean forwards a little bit more and then you're gonna fly that right leg up, warrior three. Front ribs in. Try to drop the right hip down a little bit more. Then hands come down to the floor. You know that prep for standing split, heel comes in, left hand reaching back for the foot, or working on your standing split, sending the right leg to the ceiling, wrapping your left forearm around the calf, and that helps you to get a little bit more leverage as you bring the chest towards that left leg. Then take a big step back, high lunge. Almost done. <laughs> Open up warrior two. Reverse that left arm back, right hand just resting gently on that right leg. Windmill your hands down to frame your left foot, turn on the ball of your right foot. Push off the back foot, come to the top of the mat. Take a halfway lift, fold into the legs. Bend your knees, lower the hips down, you're coming in a chair, hands in prayer. Take a big breath in. Exhale, twist to the left. Right elbow to the outside of the left leg. Draw that right knee back, hips stay nice and low. Then as you press the palm of the hands together, you're rotating the chest to the left. Hips stay low, bring those arms forwards and up, chair. Fold into the legs. Halfway lift. And then your choice, downward dog or one last blow.
After you've gone through that flow, you're going to lower down onto your knees. Take a child's pose. Knees can either be wide or closer together. Any arm variation you'd like. Close down the eyes. Catch your breath. Be aware of what's keeping you from being present. And just remind yourself that this time is still yours. So bring yourself back in the right here, right now. Rolling up to the spine, you're sitting on the heels, lift your chest up, and then swing your legs forwards, bring yourself down onto your bum. <clears throat> you can have your knees bent here or legs straight. Either way, you're gonna dig your heels in the ground, reach your arms forwards. Actually, you know what? Let's take one of our blocks with us. If you don't have a block, then don't worry about it. But if you have that block, grab a block, reach a block out in front of you. Tuck under with the pelvis. You're gonna roll down for 10, nice and slow. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then you're gonna bend your knees, set your feet down on the ground, lift yourself up or lift your hips up, slide the block on the lowest height underneath the pelvis. If you don't have a block, you're just gonna do this on the floor. So like we did at the beginning, take your left leg forwards, left heel on the ground, right knee in towards the chest. Now that your pelvis is elevated, you're getting a little bit more through the front of that left hip. And either, you can either stay there and hold or you can add some circles to the right hip. Changing sides, send the right leg forwards, the left leg in. Same option, you can either just stay there and hold or add in those circles. And bring the arms down to the floor, take both legs up towards the ceiling. And leaving the legs elevated, but try to relax around your feet. Shut down your eyes. Noticing any sensations you're experiencing. Bring your feet down onto the floor. Lifting yourself off that block, place the block off to the side, shift your hips over to the right and take your knees to the left for a climb twist. Stacking that right knee over top of the left. Right arm is reaching out to the right side. You can also make it more supportive by placing that block in between your thighs. Changing sides.
Bring yourself back onto your back. Set up for whatever in, in whatever position you'd like to finish your practice in. Just taking a couple minutes here together in a meditation before you leave your mat and go back into your day. Feeling into your body with no judgment. Just awareness of this present moment. Hearing the sounds around you. The temperature of the room. Your heartbeat. Your inhales and exhales. Staying here for as long as you need. Thank you so much for moving with me today. Be humble, be kind. Namaste.